hybrid's whimsical nature serves as effective counter-programming to today's hardened military shooters, with its flickering pace, fantastical weaponry, and radical anti-gravity concept. But in spite of being different, the first game targeted at a hardcore console audience by developer Fifth Cell soars with a creative ingenuity bringing a clever twist on the familiar in a wondrously realized Space Age shooter. I know you're looking for action, so let's get through this quick. Hybrid takes you to the front lines of a resource war between two opposing factions, the Variants and the Paladins. In the cross-continental race for excavating dark matter, combat manifests as heated engagements across 10 maps and 6 different match types, utilizing traditional rule sets like Team Deathmatch and less conventional setups like the score hoarding Overlord mode. With a modest team size of 3 players per side, it's easy to discount the game's potential at a glance. Play through the game's introductory tutorial though, and it becomes apparent that Hybrid is a much more complicated specimen to scrutinize. Where did they come from? The central hook rests on cover-based, third-person shooting with an unconventional mode of travel. Rather than sprinting through the terrestrial pathways of a map, players are instead bound by aerial waypoints laid from obstacle to obstacle. Initially, it seems as if you have little choice in the exactitude of your movement, which often leads to comical, if not frustrating, flights of folly. It isn't long thereafter, however, that the ability to strafe, change waypoints, and make tactical retreats on the fly reveals a complex and indelible part of Hybrid's appeal. Fast-paced and highly mobile, the game readily challenges established notions of spatial awareness and tactical positioning in a fully hazardous 3D environment. From sniffing out targets perched behind upside-down sniper roosts, to raining death from above with a well-timed jump jet kill, the overlying hybrid experience amounts to unlearning the familiar and harnessing a new raw sense of acuity in its unique playing field. Besides wielding a shared set of automatons that can be summoned as lethal killstreak rewards, no two players are likely to be built the same among the ranks of Hybrid's highly specialized soldiers. There's a big emphasis on customization here, with a loadout and progression system that runs just as deep as what you'd see in any shooter today. Microtransaction credits serve as the most expedient method of bulking up your stockpile, but the game also provides other viable ways to unlock things as you level. Optional bonus objectives regularly challenge players to work outside the boundaries of their comfort zones, granting a sizable boost and experience for their troubles. On top of that, contesting specific hotspots on the map confers additional bonuses to specific passive traits, feeding into another layer of planning and build management before each match. You've gone through the basics and did way better than the last batch of scrubs I had earlier. It's an interesting angle that not only pushes players into experimenting with a wide variety of weapons and playstyles, but also rewards them by doing so with regards to the Global Conquest metagame. Winning the equivalent of a season begets rare cosmetic headpieces and achievements. Even so, the real joy in hybrid comes from discovering the hidden harmonies lurking within your arsenal. Working well within the borders of its fiction to create a fanciful set of arms and abilities, hybrid provides a deep gun game that's every bit as satisfying and experimental as its concept. Those details don't matter anymore. All that matters is that they're here now, and they brought the hell with them. Hybrid is a game that you might not expect from the creators of Locke's Quest and Scribblenauts, but if the sort of imagination behind this jump jet cover-based space shooter is anything to go by, the connections aren't all that difficult to make. If you're a fan of competitive shooters looking for something a little out of left field with a fun hook and a budget price, consider this one on the shortlist. And that concludes this briefing.